Hi, welcome to a new video. My name is John. Skippy little cool. Welcome. Hey, so we are up to an insane number of patches inside of Unify. <laughs> it's crazy. We're at like 17,553 in this list right here. What does that mean? And what's the benefit of all of these libraries and all these plugins that have been unified? What does this give you that's unique to Unify that makes this really exciting? I'm going to show you. Because the unique thing with Unify is it can load any of these 17,553 patches into this existing patch just by just right clicking and saying load. So let's have some fun. I'm going to go to Bazil. I'm going to go to this patch, right click, load. Now Bazil is playing with Onosphere. Just like that. And let's see, I have a couple other ideas here. I wanted to see about Tempest sequence. Right click, add it to Unify. It's there. I can go to any of these libraries or a library that you make with your own patches. It doesn't have to be these. I could go to, um, oh, let's go to Airwave. This is a library for Serum. Let's get a drum groove going. It's all Serum synthesis. It sounds really cool. So BPM drums. Turn it all down and get balanced up by holding on option. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to Omniverse 3. Let's go to BPM. It's another cool bass. I can keep building to find exactly what I want. And I can right click on all these guys and say stop at B. So the top of the keyboard doesn't make a sound. So now I can go searching for something for the right hand. Let's say a guitar. Let's say I want a power chord. So power chord, side chain, load, and I'm going to drag right here to drag this up. Let's go, let's zebra, let's get some zebra stuff happening. Let's go to a FM BPM plug. And let's go somewhere else. About the standard unify library let's get a wave sequence going so we'll go up here we type ws and let's find like some sequence silk add that to a new unify layer let's tell this also to just be in the top half of the keyboard and boom and i'm going to hold down option and get rid of the drum groove there because I have a drum groove in my sequencer that's going to take the place. So I have created all the components for a really cool track. I can even go over here to the save page, save out the layer patches, save. Let's put this to a new folder on the desktop called uh, Groove Patches. See, I'll shoot this over so you can see what I'm doing uh, here. And I made a new folder. And I'm going to say save. And I could give it a name. This is Q 
22, oh, cure, <laughs> Q22.15, I said 16, it's past midnight, so I'm a little, you know, uh, past 2021, okay, so it's, I'm doing a film cue, and I've got this idea for this one piece, boom, it saves out all seven layers as separate patches right here, so I could load these up, put them to separate effects if I wanted to, put different sequences instead of them all playing the same thing. I have this way to just... Or this could be it and I'm done. And then on top of this... Let's say I want to replace this. This is in a unify layer. Double click this and you can see this layer. You see the artwork for the library. And I can search around. Maybe midnight. No, I need something a little bit more, uh, not midnight church service. And hold down option to take this up an octave and... So, I mean, I don't know if you guys were around in the 90s. Some of you probably were not. But this is my studio in Los Angeles, and you see this rack, and it's it's all built to be taken places. Um, some people had lots of racks. Um, I had a guy that did cartage that would take this to studios, and we would layer up all sorts of things to make the sounds that we wanted for an album. You know, I need a string sound. We'd find a string sound from my Access Virus, combined with the Nord lead, combined with some Roland 760 samples. I mean, all sorts of layered things were done. And that was the way you did things. It was a really fun way to work. And Unify takes you back to that capability super easily. This way of working is just so fast. By the way, if you want to go and find these libraries, here's where they are at. At the PluginGuru.com website, go to Products, click Unify Standard Edition, and then scroll down the list. And right here, you'll see the, right now it's at 14, but I will be adding the new libraries in a nutshell, I want to try to do this as basic, granular as I can. The libraries up here that say Plugin Guru are libraries that come from libraries that you, I sell at my website. If it says Massive, then that means it's for the Massive Synthesizer plugin. If it says uh, the Discover Station, that's for the Spitfire Audio um, BBC Symphony Orchestra plugin. If it says Cloud City, that's a library just for Unify. You don't need anything else. So there's a whole bunch of different libraries here. And down here at the bottom, it says Unified. And these are really special because these are libraries and plugins that you buy or you get. Some of these are free. Um, Pendulate is free. Surge is a wonderful free synthesizer you can get. Um, I'll put links in the video description to these. Spitfire Labs is a free plugin from Spitfire Audio. You can download all these sample libraries. One of our customers unified every patch of Spitfire Labs. And actually, right now, I have an opportunity between now and next Thursday. If you download Spitfire Labs and all the labs, and you want to make your own special layers and combinations, you can do so and send them to me, and I will include them along with the bonus patches I have already made. Um, for example, just to give you an idea, you click a button, and this loads three different sample sets that are part of labs so now i can play and i have strings the soft piano and the swells ensemble if i want i could go down here to something else and all i have to do is click to choose it and it will load all different sets. And the fun thing with Unify, even with this using five layers, Unify can have up to 24 layers in a single patch. So I have room to go crazy <laughs> if I want. I could go up here to Omniverse, Omniverse 1. Let's go to Pads and let's choose something like Celestial Sunrise. Right click, say load into a new Unify layer, and just like this, I've added Omnisphere 
to this lab's patch. I can hit solo. Wow. I could go to another library. I could go to the massive power pack. This is for Native Instruments Massive, right? So I can go down here to pad, and let's say we want to do magical strings, load to a new unify layer, but... Get your balance the way you want. You can right click to solo between the layers and it will bypass the previous solo so you can just hear the new one. I want that louder because that's really cool. That's fine. This gets really loud. There. So this special sound that's the start of my new album is a seven layer patch and my computer plays it just fine because each layer is on its own processor thread because each plugin has its own voices of polyphony it doesn't have to try to share the polyphony all within one resource plugin it's much more efficient than doing this if if you do have layering capabilities in your plugins quite often it's asking for everything from one core processor so those types of capabilities make this just really fun. 17,000 patches. I just can't believe it. So we got to this point because there's a handful of just wonderful customers that are passionate about Unify. In some cases, they have created custom little scripts and stuff for their auto record programs to go through and load and save with all the details for tags, all that stuff for patches, for all the patches in these different plugins. So all of these plugins and most of these converted libraries were done by my customers. It just boggles my mind. So I want to put a little thank you on the screen to them for helping make this become something we all get to enjoy. It's amazing to have access to this many sounds. Try to load up in your DAW. Say you want to make a four layer patch. Just try. <laughs> Load four, you got to make four separate tracks. You got to call up the plugins. You got to search in each one for the patches. Um, it's different interfaces for every one. So it takes that to navigate. It's slow. The fun thing is, let's say that we want to find one last thing, synth. So let's say we're going to be looking for synth. So let's go down to synth. Whole bunch of synths in Zebra. So let's go down here to like a stab pad. And let's go over here to OBE and let's say something like impact poly. Oh, I forgot to right click. So see, I do it too sometimes. So go over here, go back to the, uh, where was it? It was the stab pad, right click, add. So now. <laughs> That's sounding pretty good. Let's go to Omnisphere to uh, Omniverse One has some really cool synths in here. Let's try Perfectly Plucky for a nice attack. Turn it down. Let's also get, let's maybe some sort of a square shooter. So, you see how you can build. Other tricks that are really fun to try, let's say we get Detune Mega Synth. If you want to make this even bigger and you like that sound, click the little bullet here and say Duplicate, and then go over here to the little Transpose, and if you hold down Option and click, you can just take it up an octave just with one button click. And a drag up. And now I have a two layer of both the regular and one up an octave. 
And let's add one more to this. Let's say duplicate again. And let's have this one go up to plus 19. Notice it kept solo on for the one that was duplicated. And I can just right click on one of these and it turns them all off. Terribly loud. So hold down option, turn these down. I'm gonna additionally turn down these other two just a little bit. Cool. That's a cool sound. Uh, seven layers. No problem. So you can explore and play with all these plugins in cool new ways with Unify. So I hope that inspires you and gets you fired up. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video, okay?